Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. And today, I am going to be going through the Desert Temple today. Uh, but before we start, I want to look at uh, my levels and stuff, as I do every episode. So I'm currently level 29, almost probably level 30. We would have to see when we get in. So I'm level 29, power of 34, which is pretty good, and about 6,100, almost 40 emeralds. And I've also got a whole team of, like, pets now. I've got a llama, I've got my chicken, my wolf, and my bat. And I still have, like, the same gear from last episode. I haven't really changed up much. Uh, but I have done some stuff with the artifacts. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And let me show you what I've done with the artifacts. So I've got my llama and my wolf because I really like having the pets out. And I got this. I got a, a wind horn, which kind of, like, push enemies back. And I got this last episode, which I have been I have been using this. It is, it's really cool. It shoots out laser that will like damage enemies like in like a whole line so anything that touches the laser will take damage which is pretty cool uh, so I might use that today I haven't really gotten any new weapons or anything a lot of the stuff that came from the cacti canyon were a lot of the artifacts a lot of the armor and stuff I've already kind of had there's still one more I haven't gotten uh, I've also got the soggy cave that I might do that next episode uh, but today, I want to go to the Desert Temple because I unlocked this last episode. If you didn't see that, go watch that one if you want to see how I got here. So I don't think there's really anything else to do here. We'll come back to the blacksmith at the end to buy some stuff. But let's go ahead and head in. We might as well do the hardest difficulty because we're powerful enough. So let's go ahead and start the mission here and see what the Desert Temple is like. I'm already seeing like some gold coins. It looks like there's some shield guys as well. Deep within these halls awaits a powerful necromancer, the forgotten ruler of a nameless kingdom. The necromancer wields an enchanted staff that holds the power to summon the undead. We must destroy it before the arch illager can claim it in his tiny evil hands. That would surely be the doom of us all. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we've got some chests and a, a whole bunch of coins here already. Uh, I don't think I can really pick up anything. Might as well open up my map here just kind of see where we are. I've got a chest over here that I can go grab. Apparently it wants to walk all the way over here to get it. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of emeralds from there. So I think that's pretty much it for this kind of like starting section. This water is like really cool. It's like kind of like glowing as well. So it looks like we do have some spiders. And oh yeah, I was supposed to do some enchantments. You know what? After we get rid of these guys, we'll go ahead and uh, do some enchanting. So, I have, I think, two enchantment levels. Yeah. So, I want to upgrade my sword. So, this does deals increased damage against already wounded enemies. So, I can boost it up to 75%. So, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Because all the other ones need, like, three. Like, this one needs three. And I think all these ones. I did upgrade the this thorns to level three as well. So it now does 200% damage uh, returned to like an enemy, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and keep heading this way and get rid of all these guys. Looks like we do have a, a separate path that goes this way. We just got a shadow potion as well. So let's go ahead and, oh, I forgot about the spiders. It's been so long since I've actually encountered spiders. I forgot that they uh, do the, the web attack. Okay, what are these? I have no idea what that is, but there's guys with, like, blue flame, and it's really hurting me. Okay. You know what? These, uh, ghost fire people, we need to get rid of them, like, right now. I don't know what you guys are, but they're kind of annoying. There we go. Get rid of you. Get rid of these spiders as well, because they like to trap me. I've also got the, the wind horn as well, uh, which... I've found that you can actually use it to, like, knock enemies, like, into, like, if there's a pit or something, you can knock them into the pit. But otherwise, it kind of just... Oh, great! Okay, what are those? Okay, I'm kind of, like, going after the zombie. Or not zombie. That's spider. But this is a problem. Okay, get me out of here. I am stuck. Okay. That... That is crazy. Whatever's going on there is crazy. So I think this is a perfect time to head back over here. And I want to get my uh, my laser thing. So let me go ahead and equip this to here. 
because I don't think the um, the wind horn is really gonna help us out here. Oh, he just died in one hit. Okay, that's fine. It really isn't that strong. But the problem is I spawn in like a hundred zombies. I need to get to him. Can I hit you? There we go. They're really easy to hit. The problem is they spawn in all the zombies. And if you get stuck in a web like I did last time, then you end up dying from all the zombies. So as long as we can get rid of these guys before they spawn fires. And you see these things? These are the uh, the souls that you collect uh, for uh, the, uh, the laser. So let's use it on this Enderman here. There we go. You can see it does a lot of damage. And it, it will constantly kind of like fire until you're out of souls, which I've just kind of run out of it. So as you when you click it it's just gonna keep firing until you turn it off so wait what oh i didn't even realize that i was looking at my map apparently there's traps here that's great okay i don't know why i'm running towards it oh and i just used my potion just i got some food oh well doesn't matter we'll uh, we'll get another potion it's another one of these guys i might as well try and hit him with the arrows problem is these guys kind of blocked him there we go 740 damage from the sword there oh there's a spider as well uh any chests or anything in here oh it's another one of those things oh great it's this guy again yeah, I, got, I gotta go get him get out of here zombies there we go get rid of you there we go i got a hit on him which actually targets uh the mobs will actually or not the mobs my pets will actually target him now so i gotta watch out for these things because they kind of come out of nowhere oh we need a key um, let me check the map. Wait, maybe the key is over here. Okay, so I found the key. He's over there. Um, I'm not exactly sure how we get... Oh, okay. Apparently that does it. There we go. We found our key, but we've also angered the skeletons with, uh, their, um, their spears and... What are those? Shields? Spears and shields that they've got. So do they... Okay, so they do deflect arrows. But as soon as you hit him once, their shield kind of... He just got crushed by that thing. Okay. Well, that's good. I didn't know they would actually... Oh, no. They're spawning in again. So even if, like, the arrow doesn't hit their shield, it still kind of breaks it. And I think that goes the same with your sword as well. You gotta be careful of this. So if I hit him... Yes, the, seal, the shield does break when you hit him with the sword. Where's my key? Where'd you go? There he is. I need you back here. There we go. Let's go ahead and open up that. We gotta find the tomb, apparently. Oh, oh, right. Oh, right. What is that? Oh, oh, no. Okay, there's apparently, like, saw blades and stuff. So, which way do we go? We either, you know what? Let's go in here. Because the arrow wants us to go that way. But if I go that way, I'm gonna miss out on the secret over here. Oh, right. It's these guys. Get rid of you. There we go. And, oh, it's the, the necromancer people again. Oh, right. Quick, get him. Get rid of you. You can stop spawning in your hundreds of zombies because it's really annoying. There we go. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this zombie. Is there another one somewhere? I think I've got them all. It's just these guys. Oh, no. It's a spider. Just come around the corner. Okay. He apparently didn't come around the corner. We do have a strength potion. That would be pretty good. There we go. Get rid of this guy. He keeps following me. There we go. Get some emeralds. Now, I don't have any kind of healing items. So, I can't really heal myself other than my potion. Because all my artifacts are kind of like the laser. And that laser actually works really good on those guys. You can see that when you fully charge it up, it actually... Oh, right. Okay, we're going to go over here. When I get... No, I need that meat. Quick, llama, get that meat for me. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go and get these zombies now that I've got some more health. So, I need to kind of go over here and get this guy. So, he stops spawning in the zombies. There we go. I've also got to uh, charge up my uh, my laser as well. I've also got a, a button, or not a button, a lever. What does that do? Does that open something? So there seems to be a chest over here, but I can't seem to get it. Oh, wait. Oh, great. Oh, great. No. I've fallen in a position that I can't get out of. How is this? Oh, there we go. I got out of it. So we've got a chest here. What is that? We've got a soul knife. Okay, right, so I've got a new weapon here. Oh, I've also got new armor. I didn't even know I had this. What do we have? 189. I don't think that's better. Yeah, I've got 225 on this. So the health does go down, but it does give plus 100% soul gather rate. It's also got 3% lifesteal. 
as well, which is actually pretty good. And it's actually got a powerful enchantment as well. Protection reduces damage taken. Okay, that is cool. Um, let's see, anything else in here? Snowball as well is another cool one. Uh, so we've got some cool enchantments there. I might as well equip it. I don't really know. It's not really the best armor. I've also, I didn't even look at the enchantments for this thing. Let's see, it does 109 damage, which is already more than this thing does. Uh, it's also got a thrust attack. It's also got plus two soul gathering. And it's got uh, two sets of enchantments here, which is pretty good. Uh, it's got some decent ones as well. So now we got to go find something to test this out with. Uh, let's go over this way and test out on these guys. There we go. Here, you know what? We can test on all these zombies. I actually didn't look at the speed, uh, but it seems to attack fairly quickly. So it kind of like attacks like once. So it doesn't really, it's not like the sword where you can attack multiple. So uh, comparing it to the speed, the power is like way up, but this has got higher speed. So I'm not really sure. It's, it's a cool weapon, but I think the sword is probably going to be better. Uh, so let's continue going on here. We can go ahead and uh, leave. Oh, I've just realized they've got the, um, the glazed terracotta as well that they've put in here, which is pretty cool. And that's a chest. Or not a chest. That's a pot. Actually, that's a chest. Okay, there we go. I didn't even realize there was a chest there. I was looking at the pot, but I didn't even notice there was a chest. Ah, and there's another chest on that pig. Give me that. There we go. I'm going to get, what is that? Boots of Swiftness. I actually don't really like the Boots of Swiftness. Um, oh, I didn't even know I had TNT. I kind of accidentally used that. Oh, well. Um, I was trying to use my bow, but apparently I had TNT. Okay, this is really annoying. So I'm going to use my laser. There we go. Just, like, laser them all. That works really well using that laser. Especially against all those zombies. Because it, it hits everything in its path. So as long as I get enough souls to, like, power it up. Which this armor actually gathers, I think, more souls as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and keep heading on this way. But over here, it looks like there's some stuff to explore. We can go ahead and get rid of these guys. There we go. And another one of these guys, really? Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these zombies. And we can go get him. Oh, that's, uh, that's done a lot of damage. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and get rid of all these guys. Another one of these fire guys, which the fire is actually really dangerous in this. If you get caught in that fire, it does a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and get rid of these zombies as well. I've also got a chest that I can go ahead and open up. Another one of these guys. Can I actually hit him with the bow? I seem to be actually hitting him, which is good. And now I've just leveled up to level 30. So that's cool. We're now level 30 finally. I don't know what my power level is because I don't think I don't think you can see it. Oh, you can see it right here. Power level 33. So I think that has gone up as well. Oh great, they've locked us in. Yep, it's you. It's the uh, the evil illager has just spawned in. What have you spawned in for me? A whole bunch of mobs. Great. Now I've got a whole bunch of stuff to attack. I've also found that these traps are actually very dangerous because when they um when they kind of like they don't really activate until you step on the pressure plates oh right those fire people are here as well but they're also very dangerous as well because they spawn in the fire which does a lot of damage but these uh these things right here are kind of like pressure plates so when you step on those they'll actually activate the trap and usually, as soon as you step on them and it activates the trap, the trap will kind of like instantly hit you. So there's really no dodging it. So they're actually very dangerous. We can see if we can find another one around here that I can use as a demonstration. If I just like keep them right there, they're just going to keep getting hit by that trap. So the traps do like hurt like everything else as well. It's not just you. I should probably use my laser. There we go. So just laser everything. We gotta get away from that. Otherwise, we're gonna get hit by it. Oh, the laser missed because he's a higher up. Go ahead and use the laser now. There we go. Get rid of all these guys. But even these ones, I, I have a feeling they're gonna, probably gonna push us off. Here, you can test it. Oh, it, it didn't push me off. I was trying to get away from the zombie. 
Oh, yeah, that one kind of just died from the traps anyway. These traps are like really dangerous. So here's an example. These are traps. They're not activated. Can, can you get out of here? I'm trying to explain something. So these pressure plates right here will actually activate the trap. So let me just get rid of these guys. So as soon as I walk across this, yeah, see? It's going to immediately hit me and I kind of just walk back through it. But as soon as you step on that pressure plate, it's going to immediately hit you if you keep walking through. So that's kind of one of the things you got to watch out for with those traps. Is you got to kind of like activate it, then run back. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the rest of these guys. So I don't, I don't think there's really much that I've missed yet. Did, did my wolf just fall off the side? I think my wolf just fell off the side of this thing. Which I, if I had my, um, my wind torn, I gotta use that to knock the, the mobs off as well. Because it's actually really effective because as soon as they fall off, they kind of instantly die. And now where did that pig go? There he is. I need to get this chest. Oh no, not on the fire. Okay, there's some items in the fire. Let me get rid of these guys so I can go get my items. There we go. Get rid of all these skeletons. We got a pot as well. Oh, and the spiders, of course. Spiders are here. And if they lock you in a spot and this guy spawns in his fire, it's actually really dangerous. So let's go ahead. Oh, see? Another spider got me. Where is he? Okay, I think we've gotten rid of all the spiders. I want to go get the stuff that I missed over here. Where is it? There it is. So it looks like there's some bow, a shadow potion, and an apple. So nothing too good. What's my llama doing over here? Did you find some armor? Apparently my llama found something. Can't even get the spider. So what did you find over here, llama? Looks like uh, some more armor. It's not really much better than what I have. Plus what I have on is pretty bad anyways. Should really switch back to my other armor because it does have the... Um, the arrow deflection thing. So let me switch back. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Because this has thorns as well. That's actually going to be really good. It's got the thorns and the arrow deflection. Because there's a lot of skeletons and stuff in here, that arrow deflection is going to be really helpful. Okay, apparently we're locked from going that way. I was going to go over there and explore. Oh! Um... What seems to be going on here? Um... He's just awoken. Oh, great. They just all disappeared. Oh, it's a boss battle. Of course it is. Okay, there he is. I do actually have some TNT that I can actually use. So I'm just going to throw it and completely miss, apparently. Can you, like, go over there into the TNT? Okay, this is... Here, use my laser. There we go. Oh, great. You just spawned in a whole bunch of these guys. These guys are kind of annoying because their spears can, like, reach you from further away. And they, um... Uh, the shield. Oh! Oh, great. There's multiple. You can apparently duplicate yourself. That's nice. Where did you go now? Oh, great. And I immediately got killed. That's great. I, uh, I have no more lives. This is not good. Oh, great. Don't do it again. Don't you dare. Okay, this is the actual one. Use my laser. There we go. Use the laser, because that does a lot of damage. Oh, right. No, 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 no. I need to get my pets out here. Get rid of these guys. So he's, like, almost dead. I don't know where he is at the moment. As long as he doesn't do his multiplying thing. Oh, right. Oh, we got him. Great. We've got uh, some more armor as well. It's kind of the same armor that we already had. So did we get a chest? I don't see anything on the map. Uh, so I guess, uh, I guess we don't really get anything other than the armor that he dropped. So that was, that was a pretty good demonstration of how powerful the laser is. Uh, but it also shows that I now have no more lives. So if that happens again and I die, then the level's failed. So hopefully I can actually survive it. Because I don't think I've actually really failed a level yet. Here we go. Let's get rid of all these guys. Get rid of these zombies. Get rid of the spiders. There we go. Get rid of all those. Get rid of these skeletons as well. Should probably use my healing potion. Uh, let's just go ahead and just use the laser and just get rid of all these guys. There we go. Just clear out everyone. Uh, let's see. Okay, there hasn't really been anything. It's just been one hallway. So I haven't really missed any secrets. Actually, that's one thing I haven't checked. Let's check the map to actually see what there is. So, oh, is this the end? Okay, so I actually missed two things and one chest. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, I think we still did a pretty good job at completing the, the level, though. The staff is destroyed. 
Once again, the arch illager is thwarted. Okay, so that is another level done. So we'll see what uh, we get for a reward. Let's see our stats here. Apparently, I used 218 arrow hits, which is pretty cool. Uh, damage dealt 121,000. Mobs defeat only 90%. So 10% of mobs are I miss somewhere. Uh, players down three times, so I lost like all my lives. And then uh, damage taken 5,125. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up our level reward here and see what we get. And I don't know if I've actually gotten all of like the new items that I could have gotten from there. What is this? We got a brand new quiver, apparently. So let's see what this new item that I got is. Apparently it's a torment quiver. Gives slow arrows that knock back mobs and pass through walls. Pass through walls? What does that mean? Wait, so let me attach this. So these can go like, oh, it needs souls. Really? I want to see these pass through. Wait, so if I activate this, my arrows can like go straight through there? Supposedly, wait, let's keep seeing what it says. So that's the wrong one. So it does 59 range damage, one second cooldown, and then it needs one soul uh, let's, uh, let's go test this out, actually. Let me jump into another area, but let me see what we've got. So we've got a short bow, which I don't think I've actually used one of these before. So it's like a normal bow, but like a miniature one. How much damage does it do? 40 damage, 59, almost 60 on like a, a charge up. So not really the best compared to this one, which does like 70 to 196 so this one's definitely way better i've also got swiftness boots which i don't really like those if they weren't an artifact and you put them on your feet and you could actually run faster then it would be good but because it's an artifact and they have like a cooldown to use them they're not really the best i've also got some more of these soul knives which i don't really like the soul knives they do a lot of damage and they do give you more souls but I get enough of those already. So I think I'm going to delete all those. Get rid of the short bow. This armor also really isn't the best. It's really good if you have a lot of like soul abilities. So if you need to get a lot of souls really quickly, it's pretty good. But for me, I'm not going to really use them. Because I haven't really had any problems with soul gathering. Uh, so I'm going to keep my regular armor on. I do actually have another enchantment level, but I don't think I can actually use it for anything. So let's just go jump into a, a quick uh, kind of like dungeon real quick just to kind of test this out. Let's just go back to like here and we'll just go ahead and head to like the hardest level, I guess. And I just want to see how this actually works. All right, so I'm back here in the Cacti Canyon to kind of test out my new soul ability. So let's go ahead and grab up some souls from all these like illagers and stuff real quick and then we can test out this new ability because supposedly it lets arrows go through walls and I want to see this. So if I activate it, I think it kind of just like stays activated. So it also, wait, where am I getting speed from? Did I get a speed potion or where did that come from? I don't know. So if I shoot, I, I kind of need a wall though. Uh, let's see. So we gotta go this way. I need to find like a wall. You know, let's just test it here. If I shoot... Oh wow, it does. It does actually go through the wall. That is really cool. Okay, now we, need, we gotta go test on something. Let's see. Uh, we've got some illagers up here. So it's supposed to... It just traveled straight through them. Okay. That was, that was cool. So it kind of just keeps on going. So if I just have like all three of them, look at that. It just throws them all back. Now these are just like normal arrows, but I can get the special ones immediately right back. It just like goes through everything. That's actually pretty cool. You know, I might actually keep this ability. I might get rid of like one of my pets because it is actually really cool. Oh wait, I just used my TNT. I was trying to test out the arrows, but I didn't know I had that. Let me find some more of these guys. So if I throw that, it kind of just like keeps on going. So let's just use it on like a whole bunch of these. Yeah, it just goes through all of them. Look at that. 
There we go. We can get rid of all these guys. And it pretty much just like constantly refills as long as you have souls. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the uh, to the camp here. Okay, so I'm back at the camp now. So we kind of tested out the uh, what was this called? I forgot what it was. It was where is it? Uh, the torment quiver. That's what it is. It's uh, it does 59 damage. Actually, that's that's kind of one of the things I didn't actually pay attention to is how much damage. So compared to this 59, so it does a little bit more than these. But I think it kind of just takes the damage of the bow anyway. Uh, so I think this is actually a really good ability. I don't really know which pet. I kind of like the, the wolf. So I'm going to get rid of the llama. And I'm going to get my, my laser cube and my uh, torment quiver. They're both soul abilities. So maybe having that soul armor that I got rid of might be pretty good. For being able to charge up both of them. Because I actually didn't see how much this uh, this actually uses. I think it tells you. It should at least. I don't think it does. I, I think it just kind of like uses the bar. So however much it uses on the bar is how much souls that it uses. So let's go ahead and buy some chests from the blacks. Actually before I do that I want to see what missions we have. So the desert temple is now complete. It doesn't look like any of these other ones are... Uh, open yet because I have to complete the other stuff but this one up here I need to complete the redstone mines to go into there so I think next episode I might do the redstone mines or you know what maybe I should do the soggy cave you know what? next episode I'll do the soggy cave and then we'll go to the redstone mines uh, after that and then we've also got the the pumpkin pastures as well that I can go to so I think next episode I'll do like the soggy cave and see what that's like and then we'll go on to the redstone mines so now that we've looked at that let's go over to our favorite blacksmith and I'm gonna buy we'll do like five chests today see what we can end up getting okay apparently some more armor um, more of the the grim armor let's see ooh that's new okay we'll have to look at that what is that is that the fourth one I have no idea we'll do one more we got some daggers Final chest, okay. Nothing too good, but I did get some new armor. It's level 34, gives 220 health, so five less than what I have, but it, it does give plus 15% movement aura, so that's pretty good. Plus 10% arrows per bundle, and plus 30% uh, uh, range damage. And it's got some good abilities or good enchantments as well. It's only got one though, so you can only pick from these three. So I don't know if I'm really going to use it, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. But that's cool uh, that we got that. This, um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's 32. The problem is this one doesn't really uh, help with like health that much. I'm going to keep it just in case I need it for like the, the souls. Uh, because it does give the 100% soul gathering. I've also got some more daggers, which uh, the daggers are decent. I've actually got these ones, which are actually better. Actually, I don't know which one's better. This one's actually better, I think. Yeah, this one does more damage. Uh, these I can get rid of. And I think that's pretty much all the items that we got from the blacksmith. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.